Well, when I was growing up, observation, you know, was the most important thing because I was able to sit in the preservation hall as a kid and watch with my eyes and listen with my ears at some of the greatest music in the whole wide world. And that's so important to be able to just be one-on-one -on -one with the musicians every night like I was back then when I was a kid, coming and hanging out in the Preservation Hall, listening to the great Mr. Saeed Frazier, Mr. Louis Barbaran, and the Humphrey Brothers and people like that. And just like you said, you know, a lot of my growing up learning music was from watching a lot of the great musicians. I was so blessed and fortunate to have come up in the Treme around lots of great musicians like the great James Black, the great Mr. Earl Palmer, Mr. Uh, John Boudreaux, Mr. Smokey Johnson. All those guys came up in the same neighborhood I came up in. So I was very blessed. And I always tell people that I have caught the tail end of real New Orleans, you know. And to be able to be able to hang at the Preservation Hall back then in the 70s when I was really young was a blessing for me to be able to pick up on all these great rhythms and uh, hang around the great musicians that were there back then. And I used to always pretend that I was them, you know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing to do. Even when I practiced uh, back then and even now, I hum to myself and I play melodies, you know, I hum melodies and, and sing songs while I'm playing the drums because it helps you with your volume and, and, and your dynamics as a drummer. Because if you're playing louder than you're singing and you can't hear you sing, well, that means you're playing too loud. So that helps you with your dynamics and it helps you with your timing. Because if you're singing on time, you're gonna play on time.